Hello. So, um, yeah, I, I'm going to be showing you this program I've been working on with some of the other guys from the Origami Dan Discord. Um, it is a program that helps you, it's a tool for box bleeding. So it doesn't take away designing, but it helps you do it faster, helps you calculate the optimal grid size and stuff like that. Um, now, I know there's someone else is working on a similar project. Honestly, I'm pretty scared because it's, it's actually super, the other one is super powerful. But um, I had started on this one before I heard about that other project. So I'm going to just, you know, send this one out. Uh, if you might, may, may or may not find it useful, but here it is. So if you want to use it, uh, this GitHub link should be in the description. It's uh, not a super long URL. But basically, you can download it here. And if you're on Windows, you can just run the exe that uh, was made by this guy, txst. He helped me out. So you can run that. If you are on Mac, you can download Python and then just uh, open up this this Py file here. So here's my my thing. So I'm just open that up. All right. Okay. So I'll go to this window um, and run the program. Okay. Here it is. So. There's two things that this program can do. So the first one is that you can draw your own tree. Now, I'm not Robert Lang. Um, I don't have a good UI for this. But basically, you can input uh, branch lengths and then river lengths um, and so on. So for now, uh, it's only good at simple trees. And what I mean by that is you can only use these two buttons. So like, um, let's say I want a some three unit flaps, no, four or whatever. Let's just make a bunch of flaps. Maybe we can make a little river going somewhere. Um, some flap, more flaps. You know, I'm just going to do something kind of arbitrary. And then, yeah, so you can, then you can press calculate. And, uh, did it work? Kind of. I think it did, almost. Uh, someone else can verify it later. Uh, oh, and then there's mo multiple solutions. So if you didn't like that first one, I know for sure. I'm pretty sure this this solution works. You can look at it. Here are the um, the first cluster. Here are the, my two unit flaps I made in the middle. And then the three unit flaps. Um, and notice how it, you know you could probably do this by hand. It's not super hard, but it it's fast, and also you will get the lowest grid size. Um, anyway, so we can keep looking at solutions. Some of them don't work. Um, but at least it identifies which ones don't work. Oh yeah, here's a good one, I think. Yeah, and then also if you don't like 19, or maybe you didn't find a good solution, you can increase it. So now we're on a 20 grid. Uh, this one looks nice. I like this this solution number one. You can just keep looking at the other ones. Oh, something weird happened. Anyways, I'm going to, then you can save it as a .cp file. So then you can go and finish editing it in uh, Orihime or Oripa. So I'm going to save it as testdp, um, place, yeah, all right. Um, you can go to, open it up, and I think it was a 20 grid, we said. So we can just go ahead and put that in. Now, um, if you're new to box bleeding, you're new to designing, this might not make any sense to you. like. Um, but if you already are, have some experience and you just want a little tool that will help you go faster, this is definitely a good thing. So you see there's the two unit river coming around like this, and then the one unit river, and then they meet up. So then we can just draw in our ridge creases for the rivers. Like that. And then um, now if you really want to go, f if you really want to draw in the full thing, and you can use, you can delete these, use the G tool, you know, start gridding and stuff like that, etc. And then you can go and draw the full crease pattern pretty easily, um, if you want that. And then, yeah, aha, uh -huh. there we go. So that was one function, you can kind of freehand your, your uh, trees. Uh, the other function, which I think is going to be the most unique to this program. I don't think 
I think this, this what I'm about to show you is um, something that the other program does not have. So um, it can help you draw or draw a crease pattern for these two dimensional words, these two good 2D color change words. Um, you just you have to know how to shape it and collapse it and etc. But again, it's, if it's something you already know, the program will help you do it faster and easier. It's a tool, right? So what you do is you can go to the console and then you can the command is convert. So I don't know if this works on the um, executable Windows files, but it works on Mac. So convert, and then you print our uh, quotation marks. Let's do the word sleep. Right? It will give you these numbers, uh, which you can go ahead and plug into this thing. All right. So this should be our sleep um, crease pattern. So here's the S, and then the L, E, E, and then the P. So when you fold it up, it will look like this. So the S, L, E, E, and then the long three unit P that kind of wraps around. Again, we can uh, save it as the crease pattern. And then open it up in here. And then repeat the same, same process. So 10 unit grid. And then So there you go. Um, so now, if we go over to now, let me just tell you. Oh, hold on, that's the bug. Let me just tell you some of the things it can't do. So, one of the things it cannot do is it doesn't do center flaps. So I'm not I'm not using Lang's algorithm. I actually found a different one that was based off of um, the the idea that it's only corners and edge flaps because uh, originally it was just made to.